Hello, bonjour, and welcome to your new RT1 Exchange video. Here we talk about and sometimes taste some of the finest and rarest wines in the world. This is the first episode of a fine and rare wine series where we're going to be discussing the different aspects of what makes a wine special. Its origin, its grapes, its crafting and much, much more. So for this first iteration, we might as well start from the beginning. What is commonly called a fine and rare wine, you may be wondering. Well, let's just go and discuss exactly this. We're going to go straight to the point, five to seven minutes or so. So let's go and get right right into it. Let's go. So first, let's say that the concept of fine wine is not exact science. There is not an absolute set of criteria that defines what it is. There's no parameters or conditions that would determine exactly whether a wine enters the fine wine category or not. What makes a wine fine though is something that we can look at and define quite accurately. So first of all, what makes a wine fine is how it tastes. Cheap, mass-produced wine doesn't taste very good at all. It's simple, it's short, it's sometimes a bit austere or harsh. Fine wine, on the other hand, is balanced, it's well-constructed in its flavor profile, it's complex, it's long, it's lingering when you taste it. The essence of fine wine, it virtually tastes better than any other beverage. Now, this finesse has two origins. First, the quality of the terroir, of the vineyard that gives birth to the wine. Some vineyards have proven to be better than others. In France, for example, those would be called Grand Cru vineyards or Premier Cru vineyards, Premier Cru villages, and so on. The second parameter is the winemaking craft. How talented are the people who make the wine? how much they know exactly how to transform those grapes into the best possible wine. This comes with time, generally decades and decades of craftsmanship as winemakers understand whether to use oak barrels or not, how to blend the different wines, etc. Finally, fine wine will generally get finer with age. Yes, ageworthiness is an important criterion that differentiates how fine a wine is. As we've seen, fine wine is not easy to make. To be called fine wine, a bottle must be better, let's say, than 90% of all other wines. So fine wines are also quite rare by definition, and therefore they can be quite expensive. What makes a wine rare is therefore the balance between its level of production and the demand for it. Let's take some practical examples. Most fine wines from top estates in Bordeaux, for example, are produced by the tens of thousands of bottles. Yet everyone knows them really well, they taste absolutely delicious and you can rely on their age worthiness quite a lot. They're gonna get better with time. Therefore, they are much more expensive, those Bordeaux wines, than most wines that are produced elsewhere in similar quantities. Now, the best Grand Cru's of Burgundy, though, are only made by the thousands, very exclusive productions from small vineyards. Yet, they are also very uh, extremely reputable. I was looking for my Burgundy wine here from Vintage 95. So those Burgundy wines can be very, very expensive, some of the most expensive wines on earth. Similar configuration with some cult wines from the New World, California or the Napa Valley, for example. So what we call cult wines are just extremely rare, very expensive, Screaming Eagle, Sine Qua Non, for example. Now, the wines that we offer on the RT Wine Exchange platform also fall into this category. Extremely fine wines, very rare and very exclusive and wines that will define time with their quality, wines that you can invest on. The world of fine wine is therefore complex, very complex to understand, but absolutely fascinating. It combines the laws of traditional market of demand versus offer with the climatic conditions of every single vintage and the skills of all actors in the industry from production to marketing and distribution. Fine and rare wine is, if you ask me, the splendor of the world of wine. 
What makes it even more attractive is the an ongoing tension that it comes with. This tension between storing the wine so it betters with age, so it increases in value also sometimes, and the desire to simply open your bottle of wine and enjoy it using one of those. Now, by the way, both of those sides of the tension, the RT1 exchange allows you to satisfy, keep it or drink it. It is absolutely your choice with the platform. Fine and rare wine is an asset, but it's also absolute enjoyment for those who can appreciate it. It's also on demand unforgettable memories that you can create from your living room and share with others. It's also an act of generosity too. Yes, wine is generosity. One last important point I will leave you with. Every bottle of fine wine in any given vintage only gets rarer and rarer with time as it is absolutely unique, the expression of a place in a singular year. That will never be recreated. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you soon in the wonderful world of fine and rare wines. Au revoir. Bye bye.